Hi, I'm Julia Spencer, real estate advisor, investor, and enthusiast. And today I want to show you this property right here. This is one of the properties that I have my eye on. It's in the, my neighborhood. All the houses here are all about the same, about a thousand square feet. And I'm going to tell you a little bit why I'm interested in this particular property, because this property is something that um, I've had on my books for a while. Um, I usually run by the street because I, I run and jog and I've seen this several times and as you can see the, the yard is all trashed, there's like stuff laying around and one of the times that I came by I talked to the neighbor who lives over here and asked the neighbor who lives in this house, um, who does it belong to, I kind of walked around, you can see there's a sign out there that says it's um, been winterized so it's been empty for quite some time. The neighbor says she tried to contact the landlord, couldn't find him, doesn't know who it is. So I went home and did a little bit of research and I found out that um, this property belongs to an LLC property management company that's out of town. So my process right now is to contact them and I've just sent them a letter to find out if they want to sell this property to me. And my sales pitch to get this property cheap. now. Mind you, this isn't listed on MLS or with a realtor or anything like that. And I know how much this property is worth because I have other properties that are very similar in this area that are the same size and the same kind of property in terms of three bedrooms, two bathrooms, small, one step up um, apartment living. And um, so basically my process is um, I've done research for this whole entire subdivision. And there was a couple of foreclosures on this particular street that sold a couple of months ago for $40,000 per house. This house right here is worth about one hundred and twenty, and the reason being is because it's got a brick facade versus most of the houses here are vinyl siding or just basic some sort of um, some sort of veneer siding. But this obviously has brick, so it's a little bit more desirable. It's also got a fenced-in yard. You can't see that from here, but there's a fenced-in yard. And it's actually pretty nice inside because I went and peeked inside. So, but my sales pitch basically is the company that owns it is out of town. They're obviously not maintaining it. The neighbor hasn't seen anybody in a while. These are the kinds of properties that you need to find and find the owners and research and pick apart and contact the owner. And basically tell them, look, some somebody else had a foreclosure here in this street for forty thousand, fifty thousand dollars. Would you sell this house to me for a half price? And then if you have a little bit of leverage, go up a little bit, go to eighty thousand. Either way, even if you get it for eighty thousand, it is still forty thousand dollars off of what it's actually worth. And you might very well get a really good um, response because out of town owners sometimes they're not very um, enthusiastic about keeping properties because they don't have any any um, personal feelings for the property because they don't live in the area and maybe they just want to get rid of it and because it's not listed with a realtor you avoid having to pay the realtors fees so this is a really good property to to find to research to pick apart and to to bid on and make an offer on and you have to make lots of offers like that and some of them will probably then pay out it's just a, a matter of how that works um, to learn things like that just go to my website at www.juliamspencer.com the m stands for money and i'm going to try to make you some have a great day for your free guide to real estate investing visit juliamspencer.com